Hey, hello, I'm Wonder and welcome to my channel Positivity and Bell. Today I'm going to talk about a movie which is called Shopper, Read Between the Lines, starring Julian Moore, Sebastian Stan, Brianna Milton, Justice Smith, and John Lithgow. I think some of you might have watched it, so let me share my impressions about this movie. First, I'd like to mention the plot of the movie is unpredictable. It makes you watch up till the end, guessing what will happen next. So this movie is about people who love money most of all. They chase people for money, namely fraudsters. There are two of them, Max and Madeline, played by Julian Moore and Sebastian Stan. So these people are hearts. They don't have any sense of regret, pity while stealing money from people. Love, respect, compassion mean nothing for them. Or well, they just pretend that they mean nothing for them. And they're of course a victim and a target. A victim is Tom, played by Justice Smith. It's a kind guy who values simple life, education, knowledge, and humanity. Even he, the son of a millionaire, spiritual values are more important to him than material world. His dream is to open a bookstore with his favorite books. I don't want to say that money means nothing for him. He wants to use money for doing good things. The target is Sandra, played by Brianna Middleton. She brilliantly plays a role of a girl who who transforms from a lucky draggy into a skillful lady with wonderful intelligence, background, and taste. So she uses the techniques to attract Tom, making him fall in love with her at first sight and gain his it's trust. It's possible to change dramatically in life. How much time does it take? I think people should have willpower to do it a real time consuming process. So Sandra is taught these wonderful skills by none other than Max, who is one of those fraudsters. His teaching techniques are so efficient. He's a therapist at the same time. So talented. And at that moment, Sandra falls in love with him, but he uses her as a target. So she steals money from Tom. But after leaving Tom without money, frustrated, devastated, Sandra realizes how far she has come, so she decides to return good. Oh, I haven't told you about Madeline, who is one of the fraudsters. She likes playing big. She gets married to a wealthy businessman who is a father of Tom. And after accidental deaths for unknown reasons, she inherits all his fortune. She becomes greedy and wants to get more money. First, Sandra gets to know all the facts. Then, she helps Tom see reality. Sandra offers Tom to use the same skills and techniques of those fraudsters in chasing to take away all money from them. Of course, with the help of our professional team. So it works. Those fraudsters just get played and paid the same measure. At the end of the day, justice prevails. But in real life, it happens much harder. Anyway, let's believe and pray. I could predict the incredible transformation of Sandra, which surprised my spouse. I couldn't predict the ending. And it's so fantastic. I think this director wanted to say through this movie, that people get what they deserve. And at the end of the movie, Sandra and Tom decide to do business together and continue the relationship because Sandra understands that Tom loves her. Truly, not Max. But without Max, couldn't meet Tom. So everything is interrelated in this life. I remember one saying, good people bring kindness and joy into your life. Whereas bad people reward you with experiences. So let's be loyal to our loved ones and have ups and downs together with them. So I offer you to watch this movie. Thank you for watching up till the end. Wish you 
all the best. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share it with your loved ones and friends. My next one. Bye. How long is that?